kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me wow. Mommy's cold. One day, Mommy had caught a cold and had to stay in bed. Here's your breakfast, kittens. Huh? Huh? Oh, I'm just going to go take Mommy some porridge and honey and lemon. Our um, poor Mommy. Being ill is no fun at all. I hope that she gets better really quickly. Well, we could help her feel better. What if we did something really nice for her? Oh, yeah. Maybe by cheering her up, we can make the cold go away. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! I once heard Grandpa say that laughter was the best medicine. If we really want Mommy to laugh, let's put on a clown show! <coughs> <laughs> Mommy will laugh so much, she'll get better right away. Hot water bottle to keep your toes warm. Here, have some lovely honey with lemon. Uh, thank you, my darling. Achoo! The kitty cats will now perform the funniest show that you've ever seen. We added laughter medicine. <laughs> la, 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 la. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Mommy's having much fun. Kittens, could the three of you please go play in your room? You shouldn't be near Mommy just now. You don't want to catch her cold as well. Aww. But how are we going to help Mommy if we can't be in the room where she is? We could play a nice concert for her outside. Let's do yeah. it! I've heard that music can make cats feel better. The rain had stopped, and the kittens were ready to start their concert. One, two, three. Let's begin! <laughs> Darling, what is that strange noise I hear? Um, kittens, could you find a different place to practice, please? Mommy needs peace and quiet to rest. How are we going to do something nice for Mommy if she can't see us or hear us? We could bake her a delicious cake and then bring it to her. But we don't know how to bake a cake pudding. Well, I've watched Daddy do it a bunch of times. The first thing we're going to need is eggs. And flour, right? Kittens, what was that? Oh, me wow. We were baking Mommy a cake so she'd feel better. We want her to feel so good that her cold goes away. Thank you very much for trying to help Mommy. But for now, we just need to be patient and give her time to get better. And I'll do everything I can to take perfect care of her. It's a real shame I can't make the sun shine for her. You're right. Mommy's always really happy when it's sunny out. I have a really good idea. Hmm. Ah. Uh -huh. Darling, look there. The sun is coming out. Just look what a beautiful, bright, shiny sun the kittens have made for me. It's really, really cheering me up. I'm beginning to feel better already. Mommy started to feel better, and Daddy allowed the kittens to visit her. Mommy! Oh, how are you feeling now, Mommy? <laughs> I'm feeling much better. My lovely kittens really cheered me up. And with all that rest and quiet, I'm really much, much better now. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> oh, darling, sounds like you need some bed rest. I think it's my turn to take care of you for a while. <laughs> we'll draw a rainbow to make you feel better. <laughs> <laughs> the kittens learned that rest and relaxation is the best cure for a cold and a sprinkle of kitten sunshine. Kittens on time. One day, cookie, pudding, candy, and mustard were playing on the playground. 
putting on a Cinderella play for my mommy's birthday. Of course, I'll play Cinderella. But would you guys play all the other parts? I can play the prince, and Pudding can play the king. Mm. Candy can be the fairy godmother, <laughs> and Mustard can be the evil stepmother. <laughs> yeah, I can do that, sure. We also need a place to rehearse. That's no problem. We can have the rehearsals at our tree house. So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! It wasn't very long until the play needed to be ready for Cupcake's mom's birthday, so the kittens worked very hard getting their costumes ready. Just as planned, they hurried to the treehouse in the morning to start rehearsals. Where's Cupcake, huh? I got up very early to be here. I'm sorry. I switched my alarm off so I didn't get up on time. everyone. Oh, well, would you look at that? It's lunchtime. I'm going home. We'll just rehearse without the evil stepmother. But I've only memorized the first part of the play, the evil stepmother part. So we can just start again tomorrow. <sighs> the next morning, Cupcake was late again. I just can't seem to wake up on time. Plus, I'm also running late to my dance class. We'll just have to rehearse fast, then. Cinderella, you have to bake a dress, scrub the beans, and sew the buttons on the stove. What? I think you mixed some things up there. Well, Ooh. welcome to the fancy royal ball. Did Ooh. somebody order one glass slipper? That comes later. You've all got to learn your parts better. We'll try to rehearse again tomorrow, all right? I have to get to my dance class. Bye. <laughs> but the next morning, Cupcake was late yet again. And they only had one rehearsal left before her mom's birthday. Uh, Kindly stuff huh? your dainty foot in this slipper. No, the slipper part's at the end. How can we perform this play if none of you learn your parts right? But you're always late, Cupcake. We can never rehearse our parts because we're waiting for you. Oh, yes, you're right. I just don't know how I'll ever wake up on time. Maybe you should stay awake all night. Then Cupcake would end up falling asleep right on stage. <sighs> Uh, maybe you should get the biggest alarm clock ever! I mean, super big! <sighs> Where would we ever get an alarm clock that big? I have a really good idea! Cupcake needs to put her alarm clock away from her bed. That way she won't switch it off! If Cupcake's trying to get the alarm clock way up there, she'll wake up for sure. Great idea. That's what I'll do. The next morning, the kittens were surprised. Well, good morning, everybody. I've been waiting for you to rehearse. And that day, everyone got a chance to memorize and rehearse their lines. <laughs> My lady, you're not leaving yet. I'm afraid I must be going now. But perhaps we'll meet again someday. And I promise that I won't be late. Happy birthday! Thank you, everyone. You were just amazing. But my cupcake is such a sleepyhead. How on earth did you get all of this work done? Thanks to the kitty cats, I'm not a sleepyhead anymore, Mommy. They helped me learn to get up on time. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Cupcake's mom loved the surprise. And Cupcake has been on time ever since. Kitty clothes. One day, Mommy was working on her new line of clothes for kittens and ran out of fabric. Kittens, I need to run to the store. If you do need something while I'm gone, ask Daddy in his office. Okay, okay we, we will, will, Mommy. I can't wait to see all of the cool clothes Mommy's working on. Why don't we take a look? They're right there in her office. <laughs> hey, it's a kitten-shaped doll, except it doesn't have a head. 
That's Mommy's catechin. It's a special model shaped like a real kitten to help Mommy make sure the clothes she makes will fit nicely. The coat on the drawing on the wall looks pretty nice, but the one on the catechin here doesn't. Oh, poor Mommy. She had so much to do that she didn't have the time to finish it. Hey, why don't we help her? Let's do it. We'll help make Mommy's coat the best kitten coat ever. So awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. We need to add some pockets and a collar. Cookie, bring us some glue. I will draw the collar and the pockets. After that, pudding, you can cut them out. Someone needs to try it on. Well, professional models are usually pretty tall, and since Pudding's the tallest one, it's pretty clear Pudding should be our model. Go on, Pudding, see how well it fits. Well, I'll try it, but I don't think I can pull off that walk the real models do. Ouch, I can't see anything through this collar. Looks a little bit too high. It really shouldn't cover up your eyes and mouth. We could cut some slits for his mouth and his eyes. I'd only be able to see what's right in front of me, though. What if I needed to look in a direction other than straight ahead? We don't need to cut holes at all. We can just fold the collar down. Cool, good. Yeah, that feels a lot better. Uh, except, uh, I can't get my paws into any of the pockets, though. Oh. That's probably because we kind of glued them shut. That's all right. They still make really pretty decorations. We can also glue some pretty buttons onto it and make it the prettiest coat ever. The kittens were so enthusiastic that they covered the whole coat with buttons without even noticing it. Oh boy, now it feels like it weighs a ton. I can't even lift my paws up. I guess it'd be all right to remove a few of the buttons. Oh no, now it's covered in glue, which doesn't make it look pretty at all. What if we covered up the glue with ribbons? <laughs> walk in this thing. <laughs> Kittens, what are all of you doing here in my office? And where's the coat that was on the catechin? Mommy, I'm wearing it. We decided to try and finish it. We're, We're sorry, sorry, Mommy. Mommy. <laughs> Don't worry, my darlings. That was actually just a practice coat to try things out. I'll make the real thing with this fabric I just bought. And if you would like to help me out, you are all very welcome. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! If you practice, or at least that's what they say. And we're learning that the fact is, if you work hard every day, oh, you just won't believe all the things you can achieve. Do your best, let them see all you can be. The new coat turned out to be awesome, and the kitty cats were really happy that they got to help their mommy. <laughs> a night in a forest. One day, Mommy and Daddy woke the kittens up very early in the morning. Time to rise and shine, kittens. Today we're driving to a big nature reserve where we're camping out tonight. Camping? For real? Are we sleeping in a tent? Will we cook on a campfire? So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The nature reserve had special spots for camping. Well, no free spots here. Let's drive a bit further. Oh, looks like this one's full as well. After driving around the nature reserve for an hour, Daddy still couldn't find a free camping spot. Are we ever gonna get there? I'm so tired. Me too, and I'm very hungry. And Aww. I'm thirsty. Try to be patient, kittens. We'll drive a bit further into the reserve and find a perfectly lovely campsite. The trees are whizzing by really fast. Uh, 
Well, the trees have stopped whizzing. We'll be stuck here for the rest of our lives. Now, don't give up, kittens. Everything's going to be all right. <laughs> Come on. Hey. Yeah. Hooray! <laughs> I'll go and gather some firewood while you help your father with putting the tent up. Oh, huh? I think I forgot to pack the pegs for the tent. We need them to hold the tent in place. If the tent won't work, will we have to just sleep out on the cold, hard ground? What if it rains? Oh, then we can all sleep in the car. Uh, 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 it'd be pretty cramped. Uh, 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 yeah, but in the car, at least we'd be safe from all the scary forest creatures. There's lots of mosquitoes around, too. <laughs> Nope, I do not want to spend the night in these woods. Neither do I. <laughs> Daddy, please get Mom. We want to go home. Yeah, home isn't full of big mosquitoes. Or other scary forest beasts. Ha, relax, kittens. We're in a special nature reserve. No scary creatures live in this forest. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Kittens, your scary forest creature is Mommy. <laughs> Goodness, Daddy's so very funny. I have been gathering dry twigs for our campfire. They weren't easy to find, but I kept on till I found them. Mommy just delivered a solution to our little tent problem. I've got a really good idea. We should all help fix the tent together and we'll have a super night sleeping in the woods. Soon, the kittens forgot all about their fears and started to have a lovely time in the outdoors. Um, mm. Kittens, it's time for bed. Good, Good night, night, Mommy. Good night, Good night kittens. kittens. Move over a bit. Ah, uh, there are mosquitoes in here. And they are hungry for us creatures. They're pretty big, too. Good thing I brought the anti-scary forest creature spray. <laughs> ah, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Once the kittens settled down and dug in to help out, they had a wonderful time camping. <laughs> Kindness makes the kitten. Guard, defend yourself! One day, Cupcake decided that it was time to speak to Candy about her brother's bad manners. Uh, Candy, no offense, but Cookie and Pudding could use a little work on their manners. They never let anyone go ahead of them, they disturb everyone, and they never share any treats. Gosh, sounds like they've forgotten what her grandma always says. You must always keep in mind that a kitten should be kind. Don't worry, Cupcake. I'll remind them when we get home. <laughs> Cookie, Pudding, I need to teach you both about good manners because it will make you into better cats and make everyone you know happy. Really? Sounds great. All right, I'm ready. Go for it. Me too. Well, then, let's start. Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. If you let someone go ahead of you, it shows that you have good manners. Why would I let someone get in front of me? If I need to get somewhere myself, they can just go after me. And what if we need to, uh, say to parachute out of the plane, but all of us are scared? Who's jumping first? Uh, after you, I insist. What if we need to cross a log bridge over a ravine? Well, you go first, I insist. <sighs> That's not how it works. Hmm? It's also good.
good manners to offer to share what you have with others, like candy or a scooter. Wait, how come I'm the one who has to ask them? If they want what I've got, let them tell me, and then I'll share it. Because if you don't offer what you've got to them, they'll think that you don't want to share. Ah, that makes sense. Candy also explained that it's good manners to help someone climb down from a high step, or cover someone with a blanket in cold weather, or with an umbrella in the rain. That's it. Manners are pretty simple, right? Super simple. Now can we go play for a while? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the next day, Candy invited Cupcake for a visit to show off the boys' good manners. Kittens, it's time for tea. <laughs> this tea is so yummy. Oh, drinking from the teapot isn't nice. I don't want any tea now. I'm going outside. Cookie pudding, you forgot your manners again. You both barged past Cupcake going out of the bedroom. Then you drank all the tea yourselves and ate all the treats without offering any to her. Letting you pass, giving you this, helping you with that. Sounds like we become just like servants if we follow these manners of yours. Yeah, why must we do all that? I don't get it at all. Because you won't have any friends if you have such bad manners. I'm going to go play with Cupcake. And we don't want to play with you two. Hmm? Hmm. Cookie, what will happen if we lose all our friends because of bad manners? <laughs> I have a really good idea. We need to remember everything Candy taught us and let everyone see our good manners. Yeah! On the playground, Cookie and Pudding tried their Yay. hardest to be kind and attentive. <laughs> Cookie and Pudding! What lovely kind manners. They take after me. Actually, it feels really nice to be polite and helpful. Yeah, and it really is so easy. And from now on, we'll have good manners all the time. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. The boys enjoyed showing off their good manners and were super delighted to see that it made everyone really happy. Hide and seek, kitties. One day, the kittens decided to have a game of hide and seek. We can hide anywhere except for the basement, all right? Deal, let's do it. Who's the first seeker? Well, I don't want to be it. Me either. Uh, whew. That was a hard day. <sighs> hey, play hide and seek with us, Daddy. Do play with us, Daddy. Pretty please with hugs, Daddy. Uh, but... Oh, sure, I'll play. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! One, two, three, four, five. Okay, then. Ready or not, here Daddy comes, kittens. Who do we have under here? <laughs> <laughs> I found candy. <laughs> Is pudding. <laughs> Looky, it's cookie. Yay! Let's play again. Oh. <laughs> Counting one, two, three, four, five. Ready or not, here I come. Counting one, two, three, four, five. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> Grandma, hello there. Oh, my 
daddy's too tired to be it again. Can we swap for a little while? How about you three seek and I'll hide? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Ready or not, here we come. Let's go and look behind the couch. I bet he's hiding there. Nope. Maybe he's hiding in the wardrobe. <laughs> he's not here either. She's right, he's not here. The kittens looked in every room, but they couldn't find Daddy. Well, maybe Daddy got hungry and then hid in the refrigerator. <laughs> but Daddy would freeze if you were in a fridge oh. for so long. Oh. Maybe he's in the washing machine. <gasps> Mommy's about to do laundry. Huh? <laughs> Mommy, don't turn it on! <laughs> Daddy might be hiding in there! There's no need to worry, kittens. I assure you it was completely empty when I put the laundry into it. Now what? Daddy wasn't in there either. We were playing hide-and-seek, but we can't find Daddy at all. Hmm. Well, maybe he's in the basement. We agreed before we started we wouldn't hide in the basement. But we forgot to tell Daddy that rule when he joined in. <sighs> Daddy! <laughs> oh, sorry. Guess I was having a little snooze. Poor dear. You must be exhausted after your long work day. Oh, the three of us never really thought about that. That's right. We bugged him to play with us the moment he got home. I have a really good idea. We need to let Daddy rest for a little while and only ask him to play after that. Daddy, why don't you lay on the couch and rest for a while? <laughs> I've already had a nice snooze, and now I'm ready to play hide and seek. Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Mommy's gonna be it! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, ready or not, here comes Mommy. The kittens had the most fun hiding and seeking when everyone in the family was rested and in the mood to play. Clowning around with Boris. One day the kittens were talking about what they wanted to be when they grew up. When I grow up, I'm going to be a sea captain. And I'll be a concert pianist. And I, uh, I'll be a great scientist. And I want to be a clown. Huh? Boris, do you really want to be a clown? You're kind, but not so funny. Well, clowns aren't funny people in real life. They're funny with their bodies when they perform. But you never perform, Boris. You're right. Which means I better start. I'll come up with a funny routine and perform it for everyone. Everyone will laugh a lot. So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! But at home, the kittens realized that they were worried about Boris. But what if his routine turns out not to be funny? Boris will be so sad if he does a show and no one laughs. What if we sneak and tickle every kitten's paws? Then they're sure to laugh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that won't work. When something's funny, everyone laughs at the same time. We could put this in the audience and play a laugh track on it. <laughs> it would be really strange to hear laughter but not see anybody laughing. <laughs> or you three could help Boris come up with his clown show. Friends are supposed to help one another. <sighs> The kittens went to help Boris with his routine. Oh, thanks a lot for coming. My costume is pretty ready, but I still haven't thought up a funny routine. We can help you with that. Everyone usually laughs when someone falls down. Look, like this. Ow. Uh. Ow. You just drop the banana uh. peel and then you slip uh. on it and fall on your bottom. Uh. Go uh. on, you got this. Uh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Looks like comedy wipeouts aren't your thing either. Everybody laughs when they hear a funny song, so just sing something hilarious. La la la. 
La, la, la. Funny la, songs la. really need to have funny words. But I don't know any really funny songs. Oh, here's something funny to do. Comedy gold, pie in the face, and all you have to do is stand still while I do the rest. You ready? No. Well, that was a total waste of a delicious cake. Yeah, and for nothing, because it wasn't even funny. This is all my fault. I'm not funny at all. I won't ever be a real clown. Chris, you're really funny. That's hilarious. Am I? I wasn't trying to be funny. It somehow just happened by itself. <laughs> you know what? I think you really do have the talent to be a real clown. <laughs> I have a really good idea. The kittens came up with a clown routine to showcase Boris's natural talent. <laughs> And that's how the kitty cats yeah. realize that a talent may not always be easy to see. Sometimes it can even be discovered by accident. Memory. One day the kitty cats were getting ready to go to the playground. Uh, hey, Pudding, can you do me a favor and let me know when it's 2 o'clock? I'll be sure to let you know. What's happening then? There's a show about submarines coming on TV at 2 o'clock. I really want to watch it. Kittens, are you ready? Did you remember everything? Oh, yes, I think so. Cookie, did you remember to feed our goldfish? Uh, sorry, I forgot. But, Cookie, I asked if you would do that. Don't worry, I'll feed your fish for you. Why don't you go on and play? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> Did you bring the book about vampires? Sorry, but I forgot it. But Cookie, you keep forgetting it again and again. Yeah, remember when I asked for your help building my model of the moon and you forgot? I'm sorry, I just sort of have a hard time remembering stuff. How about we try to train Cookie's memory? Then he could remember stuff better. Yes, that'd be just great. All right, all you have to do is take a good look at these objects and remember all of them. All right, sure. Hmm. Let's do this. First, close your eyes. Now take a look and tell us what is different. Hmm. The doll's gone. Very good. Now close your eyes again. Open up and tell us what's changed. Now the ball and bucket are gone. Hmm. Hmm, that's right. Now close them again. Open them. Hmm. The ball is back, but now the net is missing. Looks like you're pretty good at seeing things and remembering. Let's do a different kind of test, like a quiz to figure out how fast Cookie's memory is. Here we go. The first question is, what color is your grandma's favorite dress? <sighs> I know that. Her favorite dress is lilac. You're, You're right. right! How many steps does your cellar staircase have? Uh... Uh, 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 uh. Seven! You're, You're right. right! What time does your father leave for work in the morning? Uh, running late. It's almost nine. Oh. I know. At nine o'clock. Time. Oh, no. Pudding, what time is it? It's half past two. My submarine huh? show has already started. Oh, no! Uh -huh. That wraps up the best show we've
we've ever done. It was awesome. See you next time. Oh, I missed it. Missed it completely. Hey, Pudding, I asked you to tell me when it was 2 o'clock, remember? Sorry, we started playing and I forgot all about your show. Well, it's not easy to remember requests from other people. I remember by writing them down. Like this, look on the internet for the program about submarines that Cookie wanted. So I'll remember it now. Great, Mommy. Thanks. I think I understand now how my friends felt when I forgot all the things they wanted me to do for them. I have a really good idea. Cookie can write his friend's requests in a notebook just like Mommy. Then he won't forget them anymore. That is a great idea, Candy. You can even use this notebook right here, Cookie. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Mommy, I did all the things for my friends that I'd forgotten. Look here. I gave Smudge his book and helped Chase make his moon model. Very well done, darling. And I remembered to keep the promise I made to you as well. Look, I tracked down the submarine show that you missed. Greetings, wonderful viewers. Today's awesome program is all about submarines. Awesome! Thanks a lot, Mommy. From then on, Cookie took care to keep other people's requests in mind. And he used his special notebook to help him remember. Nap time. One day, the kittens were visiting Grandma. Now then, little kittens, it's time for your nap. You can get some lovely rest right there in your nice new hammocks. Nap time? But naps are for little babies. Oh, we wanted to blow bubbles after lunch. Yeah, that's way more fun than sleeping for an hour. Little ones, it's good to have a nice, healthy rest. Come along, you might just have a great idea in your sleep. For example, one time a well-known scientist dreamed up a wonderful invention whilst he was sleeping. And it became a very famous scientific discovery. One very famous artist would lay down to sleep and then wake up and paint the extraordinary and crazy things he dreamed about. Wow, I love that! Cool! I say let's nap! So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! sleepy at all. I'm not either. Huh? <sighs> well, it's not too late to go back to our original plan. <laughs> Aren't you sleeping? Well, because, uh... Oh, the mosquitoes are bugging us. Grandma hung up special nets to protect the kittens from insects. The mosquitoes won't bother you any longer. Sleep well, kittens. We have to find a place to blow bubbles where Grandma won't be able to see us. <laughs> <laughs> My kittens. Huh? You're still not sleeping? Well, um, you see, the ducks are keeping us up. That's right. With all their quacking and quacking, how could we sleep? Oh, I guess they must be hungry. We need to find some food for them. <laughs> Now then, the ducks won't bother you two at all. But Cookie and Candy didn't want to take a nap. Cookie!
Chunky Candy Pudding. Daddy's here. Keep it down. The kittens are taking a nap. <laughs> Doesn't look like they are to me. Sorry, Grandma, but we don't need naps anymore. They're really just no use at all. You're wrong about that. Guess what? While I was sleeping, I came up with a way to blow a whole bunch of bubbles at one time. <laughs> I know what we should do next time. We should actually sleep when Grandma says it's nap time. Then maybe we'll dream up some really great ideas. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! And that's how the kitty cats realize that taking a little rest during the day is very useful and good for you. Willpower. One day, Daddy baked some lovely muffins. Ooh, yumminess alert! Now, kittens, the muffins need to cool for a bit. You can all have a muffin once they're cool, after supper. Supper? But that's ages and ages away. Well, you'll just have to use a little willpower. Uh, willpower? What's that? Willpower helps us when we need to stick to a decision we've made, even if it's hard and we don't really want to go through with it. Like not eating muffins before supper. Oh. Having them now would ruin your appetite. Oh. Let's make it a game for you. The kittens who don't eat a muffin before supper will get a lovely prize. Prize? So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Sounds like we have a deal then. I so want just one delicious muffin. They just smell so good. Cookies, you've got to use your willpower. Why don't you play a game of chess? That'll keep your mind off of muffins. Ooh. Or take your robot and play with candy for a little while. in just a moment. Uh, I'm gonna take huh? these into the kitchen. That way they won't tempt anyone. Cookie! Mm. I've got an idea. The three of us should go out to the playground. There won't be any muffins out there. <laughs> 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 I've got a surprise. My mommy just baked all these beautiful and delicious muffins. Go on, have some. Huh? Ah! No! Remember to use your willpower. Oh. We promised mommy that we wouldn't have any muffins at all before supper. Yeah, but this isn't one of the muffins from our house. But if we eat them now, we won't be hungry when supper time comes. You must remember your willpower. Come on, I'm taking Whoa. you home. Muffins! Tasty muffin! Maybe Cookie really is super hungry. Let's get him a banana or something. Wow! Look at how fluffy they are! <gasps> Bet they're super yummy as well. <laughs> Give me the muffins! No, give them to me! Go. Oh. oh no! You ate all of them? Uh, now, kittens, what happened to the muffins? Are you telling me you didn't follow the rules of the game? We tried, we honestly really tried to use our willpower. But, well, in the end, I guess we just couldn't do it. We didn't eat the muffins! That means we win! Huh? Oh, wow. We thought you ate them all. I dreamed of these muffins all day, but when I realized you wanted to eat them as much as I did, I decided to help you by hiding them. I've learned something awesome. If the three of us always help each other to get through it when something's difficult, then together we can do anything. You're right about that, Candy. And because the three of you have done so well, you've earned some wonderful prizes. I made you some new t-shirts, so everyone will know that you have wonderful willpower. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Wowie! 
I'd like to try that just like you and really test my willpower. I'd love that. But first, let's all play a game of tag. So we can build an even bigger appetite. <laughs> <laughs> so the kittens learned all about willpower and how it's easier to stick to something if you can all help each other. Rock, paper, scissors. One day, the kittens were working on a model of an island. Wow! Our dinosaur island is finally ready to go! So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Time to play dinosaurs! But wait a second! We have to clean up the mess in our room first! I've got an idea. What if we play rock, paper, scissors, and whichever of us loses, cleans up? All right, then. How do you play? Oh, it's super easy. You count to three and stick your paw out as a rock or scissor or as paper. Scissors beat paper because they can cut it. But rock wins over scissors because it can break them. Paper is the most cool, though, because the piece of paper can cover the rock. I got it. Okay, let's give it a try, Cookie. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors one, two, three. three. Rock, paper. Oh. The piece of paper covers up the rock, so... Candy's the winner, and I play Cookie next. Rock, paper, scissors, scissors one, two, three. three. Scissors. Mm. Pudding wins because rock breaks scissors. Oh, uh, uh, wait a minute. This is huh? not scissors. It's a whistle. Mm. So, the whistle is louder than the sound of the scissors snipping. Whistle beats scissors, then! But you're supposed to play with only rock, paper, scissors. This is the new cookie way to play. All right, we're on a hunt for objects that make us victorious. The new way should let us play all together. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors! Ship! Magnifying glass! Jump rope! It's longer than the glass and the ship. But the ship doesn't sink in water. The rope and glass both sink, though. Oh, uh, but you can't control the ship. But you can control the car. The car wins, the ship loses. But the hat can completely cover it, so the hat beats the toy car. The hat will get soaking wet in the rain, but not the umbrella. The wind blows away the umbrella, but not the sturdy chair. The chair didn't have wheels, but roller skates did. However, the bicycle had bigger wheels. Uh, huh? The nail could puncture the tire. And the uh. hammer could hammer the nail. All these objects were so cool. Which of them would win? There's a hairbrush in the butter dish? Oh! The brush is harder than the butter, so the hairbrush wins. Has anybody seen where my hat got to? Huh? Oh! Goodness, what is going on in here? We were playing rock, paper, scissors, and we got a bit carried away. <laughs> well, it looks more to me like you're playing mess clutter junkyard. <laughs> Yeah, we were trying to figure out which of us had to clean up, but we just made the mess even bigger. Yeah, we shouldn't have played rock, paper, scissors, and all that other stuff. Well, I think it's time you three played a game of mop, dust, vacuum. I have a really good idea. How about instead of saying just one of us has to clean up, we all clean up together? <laughs> Quite fond of this new game. You're all winners. And since your room is clean again, now you can play dinosaurs. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. <laughs> the kitty cats had a fun day with rock, paper, scissors, ships, hats, mops, and dinosaurs. <laughs> Renovations. One day, mommy and daddy brought home some wallpaper and buckets of paint. 
Daddy, what are you doing with all those things? Daddy and I have decided we're going to finish the attic. We'll make it all nice and cozy. The attic? Really? You mean that we're going to have a new room in the house? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Hey, we can use the attic room for chess tournaments! Dance parties! Oh, we can play so many games up there! <laughs> Come on, let's go take a look at the new room! <laughs> It's still the same as before. Cookie, we only just started. First we figure out the plans, then we prepare them. I suggest we bring everything up from the basement so we don't have to run up and down the stairs every time. That's excellent thinking, darling. Little ones, remember to be careful when you go back down the stairs. It looks like we won't have a new room for a long time. Let's help Mommy and Daddy put up the wallpaper. If we hurry, we can do it all before they get back upstairs. Yeah, let's. It doesn't look very hard at all. Well, you're on a roll. Let me give you some help with that. There! It's not rolled up anymore. It's flat. Now we can stick it to the wall. Uh, oh! Oh, I accidentally splashed this glue everywhere, and now the floor's been wallpapered. Maybe I can pull some of it up? Oh! Uh. Oh, oh, oh. These silly, sticky things are way more trouble than they're worth. Oh. Well, what if we just used paint on the walls? Yeah, let's. I'm pretty sure we could handle that. Oh. What is happening up here? Mommy, Daddy, we're so sorry. We just thought that we could help speed everything up. We just really wanted to help out. But it really didn't turn out that great. <laughs> Thank you for trying to help, my darlings. But you know, renovations are really tricky. All the preparation is hard, even for us grown-ups. Mommy and I know this very well. It's not our first renovation. I've got a really good idea. If you can teach us how to do all of this, then we can help you. That's a good idea, Candy. But first, you need renovations of your own. Huh? You're all taking a bath right now. After their bath, the kittens help their parents to renovate the attic. that. I thought it was going to take much longer to get all this done. It's all thanks to our students here. Because of your help, we finished much sooner than we expected. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Hmm, but it still sort of feels like there's something missing. Oh, and what's that, oh? darling? Oh. Daddy messed up the wallpaper! Oh, no. Now I know what it still needs. Some lovely kitty oh. cat paw prints. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how the kittens help their parents with renovations and turn the attic into a cozy room for the whole family. Surprise! It was a holiday, National Kittens Day. A special day when parents give their kittens little gifts to celebrate. This Kittens Day, you'll be getting one big present to share, my kittens, but it's a so awesome <gasps> one. You'll get your present this evening, but try to be patient. It'll be a surprise. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! These kittens just couldn't bear the wait for evening. Look, a delivery truck is delivering something. It must be huge. 
huge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, that box is massive. Our present must be inside. Yep, Mommy <laughs> did say that it would be a big surprise. <laughs> that box is big enough that it might have a complete set of plant encyclopedias. <laughs> It's so big, it could hold all the parts of a real-life pirate ship. <laughs> all hands on deck! <laughs> Maybe it's a big musical instrument, like a beautiful harp. Well, the box is so big, it could have almost anything inside. find out what it is until this evening. I'll never be able to wait that long. Let's go and take a look inside the box right now. Mommy and Daddy said it's a kitten's day surprise. We can pretend to be surprised tonight when we open it. All right, but Mommy and Daddy probably hit the box. We need to find it and be super stealthy, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> the kittens looked all over the house, but they didn't find the box. Where could they hide a box that big? We've looked everywhere in the house. Not down there. <gasps> Let's open it right now! That is a surprise. You think that Mommy and Daddy want to redecorate our room using this giant vase? But it will get in the way of everything. But we still have to pretend to be surprised and happy when we open it again later, or Mommy and Daddy will be disappointed. <sighs> Kittens, the time has come for your present. Your big surprise is waiting in your room. Come find out what it is. Hooray! Surprise! All right, lift the box off. I want to see your faces when you see what's inside. I'm not sure I can pretend to be happy and surprised at all. <laughs> we already know there's just a vase in the box. We couldn't help it and had a look inside earlier. We're sorry that we ruined your nice surprise. Why not look inside the box anyway? Maybe you'll still find a surprise. Huh. Whoa! Whoa. And it lights up in the dark. That's why we wanted to give it to you in the evening, so you could see it in all its glory. We bought it a couple of weeks ago. The vase is a present for Grandma, but the vase box was just exactly the right size to put your actual present inside and help give all of you a nice surprise. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Thank you! <laughs> The kitty cats had a lovely evening with their parents, celebrating Kitten's Day. And they realized that surprises are worth waiting for. The Kettle Quest. One day, the kittens and Mommy and Daddy were getting ready for tea. Thank you for your help, dear kittens. Everything's ready. I just need to boil some water. I think our electric kettle is broken. Uh, well, can't say I'm surprised, not after how long it's been serving us. Oh, no. We won't ever have yummy lemony tea again. It's nothing to worry about, kittens. We'll zip to the store this instant and pick up a nice, shiny new kettle. We'll have a beautiful new kettle. So, so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. <laughs> At the store, Daddy and the kittens see that they sell way more than just kettles. Oh, look at that! Markers! We 
should buy some. But you already have markers, Cookie. Yeah, but not these colors. All right, let's buy them. Oh, hammers. I just remembered I need a new hammer. Hey, look at those cool swim fins. Ah! <laughs> oh, those are pretty balloons. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy and the kittens got so carried away shopping that they didn't notice the time. Goodness, we've been here over an hour. Mommy has got to be waiting for us. Come along, let's pay for everything and head home. <laughs> We're oh. back. <laughs> yeah, it appears you had quite a fun shopping trip. You betcha. We bought so many things that we need. New markers. I didn't have all these cool colors. But, Cookie, you already have those colors. Don't you remember? You drew this picture with them. Oh, yeah. You're right. I guess I forgot about them. Look, Mommy, we also bought a rubber ducky. I'll go put it in the bathtub. <laughs> but we've already got lots of rubber ducks. What other things did you buy, my darlings? Uh... You bought holiday tree ornaments in the middle of summer? The snowflakes on them are really beautiful. Look, we also got some snow in a can. What's in that box? That is a sea monster costume, dear. Uh, Where are those fancy parties you like? Yes, I'd prefer something fancier, like a mermaid costume. Certainly not a sea monster one. Oh. <laughs> a swimming pool filter. Oh, that's right. We don't have a swimming pool. Oh, it's, uh, for, um, well, yeah, that was a silly thing to buy. But wait till you see our nice new hammer because I lost my old one. Um, no, you didn't. I saw it in the cellar. You did? <laughs> Hooray, Mommy found my old one. What are we going to do with all this stuff that we bought, Daddy? I think we should put them down in the cellar for safekeeping. Then there wouldn't be any room left down there. <laughs> Help! I have a really good idea. We should return everything to the store. Wonderful idea, Candy. Uh, we'll do it right after we've eaten something. My poor tummy's all rumbly and empty. Well, then it's a good thing that it happens to be tea time. Uh, there might be one small problem. We forgot to buy a kettle. Oh, no. <laughs> no need to worry, my darlings. We have an old metal kettle in the kitchen somewhere. I can use it to heat the water like they did in the old days on the stove. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The family had their tea after all, and the kittens realized that it's not always good to buy everything you want. It's better to buy the things that you really need.